is seeking full custody of his son after his baby mother was mentioned in the P. Diddy lawsuit as a sex worker along with Young Miami. Reports are saying that Diddy and several others are facing serious accusations stemming from a sex trafficking lawsuit filed. 50 Cent baby mother Daphne did speak out and she said that it's all lies. She is 100% not a sex worker and that she is going to hire an attorney because this is defamation of character. Now these accusations is being made by Rodney Jones which is a former employee of P. Diddy and he is suing P. Diddy and he mentioned Daphne in the lawsuit. Now let's talk about Portia Williams because she is back on Real Housewives of Atlanta show and she's getting a divorce from her husband Simon but this situation is getting very messy because the other day Portia took Real Housewives of Atlanta production to her house so she could pack her things and they were trying to get a couple of scenes. Well Simon her soon to be ex-husband wasn't at the house when she came so she could pick up her things. Instead he was on vacation with his girlfriend. So now that he's back Portia is trying to get her things but she's trying to bring the Real Housewives of Atlanta camera with her which Simon quickly went to the courthouse and got a cease and desist paper. So now the Real Housewives of Atlanta camera can't come with her when she go retrieve her things. She has to come by herself. Y'all know how dramatic Real Housewives of Atlanta is. They gonna find a way around it. So y'all stay tuned for that. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. The Barbs were very upset with Rihanna recently because she was in the same room as Cardi B. Now they both attended Jason Lee's birthday party which people at the event captured them both on camera so people assumed that they were cool and that they were hanging out but it was just a cordial event. I felt like Rihanna was being very respectful and cordial whereas Jason Lee was trying to be a little messy. Listen. Lotto was upset at the fan tweet. Y'all remember when Lotto got out of jail and dissed everybody that was trolling? Lotto tweet in response, y'all got a lot to say, but let me see you get pulled off a plane, wrongfully arrested in front of a whole airport, literally profiled. People think you're in jail for actually stealing, so everybody's talking shit, calling you broke, blog spreading fake news, $10,000 K lawyer fees, and sitting there for three days with no refund on vacation or lawyer fees. Lotto did a story time explaining the whole thing. Listen. <laughs> lot to unpack here so let's get started um i'm really trying to think where to start <laughs> this is very traumatic for me it's not funny so back in like 2018 i think i was like 19 20 i, ain't, I don't feel like doing the math right now but i was on the way to my friend's um birthday trip she was having a birthday trip in dominican republic punta cana and um i booked my hotel room i booked my flight and um i was on the way to the airport quick little um mini story time mini story time hold on i got into it with my mama pretty bad um the morning of and the night before this trip because i hear her like oh ma where's my um passport y'all tell me why this lady couldn't find my so I had to wake up early um, in Atlanta. We got like the passport agency and um, I don't know how it is now, but back then I just like went there. I was there at the crack of dawn, like as crack of dawn when it first opened and um, I got my passport within like a couple of hours before my flight. So already I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to make this fucking flight. I'm trying to go to Putacana, celebrate my friend's birthday, whatever. Little did I know how my day was going to go. Anyways, point being, the day was already stressful before any of this bullshit started. So, I get to the airport. My friends already knew the trouble I was having with my passport in the first place. So, when I get to the airport, we like, whoo, bitch, it's time to unwind. It's time to relax. Like, we made the little boomerang. Y'all know, like, when you finally make it out the group chat, like, the boomerang with the passwords. Yeah, we was making all that. Boom, we end up, um, we boarding now. I'm walking on the plane. Um, before I can even step foot on the plane, you know, like the little, like the little walkway area, hallway thing. Um, it's two officers. They like Miss Stevens. I'm like, what's up? They like, um, you're going to come with us. You're being arrested, um, for what was it? Like, I can't think of the like technical term right now. Yeah. I tried to block this whole shit from my, from my memory. Like I really be forgetting that this shit happened to me like that. Um, it was like, whatever, like theft by theft by taking. I think theft by taking, like, whatever, like a felony charge. So immediately, I'm like, um, y'all got the wrong person, babe. I have this um, vacate paid for a vacation to Punta Cana waiting. And, um, yeah, y'all got the wrong person. You need to pull up some camera footage or something because I'm not going with you. They basically like, you know, that don't got nothing to do with us. We got a warrant for your arrest. 
And then they say the county, I think it's like Sandy Springs, is that even a county? I don't know. If you live in Atlanta, it was some shit like that. And I'm like, mind you, this, like, sir, I don't even be in Sandy Springs. I, this, you have the wrong person. Like, but he like, you know, we just the officers. Like, you going you just gonna have to go come with us. We gonna call the Sandy Springs officers and see if they wanna um come and get you. If they don't wanna come and get you then you can go on about your business. I'm like, they not going to come and get me because they're going to realize they made a mistake. And so I'm like, um, can I call my mama the fuck? They like, um, yeah, you can call your mom when we get downstairs. So y'all, they walking me through the whole airport. I'm not like, I'm not like too famous, but I'm like, kind of like, I got motion in Atlanta. So like they walking me through the whole airport in cubs. Like people is like, big lotto, big lotto, what's going on, big lotto? I'm embarrassed, like, I'm embarrassed. So I call my mama, mind y'all, remember what I told y'all earlier about the passport shit, right? So my mama think it's a joke. I'm like, ma, it's not funny, like, I'm on the verge of tears, but I got to act gangster because all these people follow me. They follow me in the airport, like, they trying to figure out what's going on. I'm not going to act. So I'm like, ma, I'm really holding back tears. Like, I'm not playing. Like, I, the plane is probably took off. I'm not on the plane. I'm finna go to jail for something I did not do. No doubt in my mom, like, I ain't never even stolen my ass. the fuck? She's not believing me. It took a while to, like, convince her. I'm, like, put my daddy on the phone. I'm telling him. So now when they finally take me serious, when they finally take me serious, they, um, they trying to, like, call my lawyer, trying to, like, figure out what's going on. And I'm, like, you know, I'm going to jail. Oh, did I tell y'all? So they was waiting on the, um, Sandy Springs police to, like, figure out if they was going to come get me and take me to jail or let me go. Yeah, they came and got my ass. Oh, did y'all know they got a, a, like, a jail at the airport? Yeah, I was sitting in a jail at the airport until the Sandy Springs police came and got me. And, um, yeah, like, I had a fresh wig because I'm thinking I'm, about to go to Punta Cana, fresh lashes. Like, I was not prepared to go to jail. I'm in the back of the cop car, and I'm really just thinking, like, I gotta act tough. Like, I really wanna cry. Like, the spoiled rich bitch in me is, like, still never that. So I'm like, um, sir, what, what, um, what jail I'm finna go to? Why does it say Rice Street? Huh? Immediately, I'm like, yeah, no, we not crying, bitch. You you better act tough, and you better act like you can whoop any hoe in this bitch. I'm shaking in my boots all the time. I'm in the back of the car seat. I mean, not the car seat. I'm in the back of the cop car, like. But, baby, I'm acting tough than a bitch. But, baby, you would have thought I was a real right. Okay, I feel like this might be too long, so part two. Part two. So, we pull up at Rice Street, and, yeah, for everybody saying, like, oh, she she did 24 hours to bait B. I did three days, so three. Uno, dos, tres. Anyways, we pull up, and um, so I, I got a, um, oh, y'all, why when I first pull up, she like, ain't that Lotto? And the other officer like, girl, we don't give a fuck. Chinese Kitty in here, too. Shout out to Chinese Kitty. That's my girl. She like, we don't give a fuck. These hoes ain't famous in here. So, mind you, remember I told y'all I'm in the car, like, gassing myself up. Like, I'm in the back seat. Like, nah, you finna act like a fucking gangster in here. So, I'm like, I don't give a fuck either. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I say that? So, me and Shotty sleep beefing. Y'all, why she, she the one that gotta, like, dress me out? Let me tell y'all what happens like when you put on the clothes and stuff me and her in this room and she like drop your pants i drop my pants though she like bend over and cough that puts a fresh wax though because i was going on vacation so i bend over and cough this hoe say you not coughing for real we gonna stand here until you cough for real I cough for real, whatever the fuck that means. Like, I was coughing. She was just trying to give me a hard time. Anyways, um, so, yeah, what part of my... I had to get a little shot and shit, and then, like, when I'm getting booked in, I'm tell I'm talking to the man. I'm like, sir, I'm not supposed to be here. Blah, say blah, and he, like, again, like, I hear you, but that's... 
I can't do nothing about it. So I'm like, okay, well, so when I'm when am I getting out? And he like, because it was a um a felony charge, I think, I didn't get the um like I didn't get a bond immediately. I had to wait and go to court in the morning. So I'm finna spend a night in this bitch. Girl, I'm in this holding cell. It's cold, no blanket, concrete. I'm so mad. They they bringing us breakfast? Girl, please. I think, I don't even think I went to sleep that first night. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't eat or go to sleep because I'm like, I'm finna get out in the morning. I'm not even finna play with y'all. Girl, so I go to court Um, in the morning. Morning come, boom, go to court. And when I walk in the court, oh, oh, I did get a phone call. So I talked to my parents um, on the phone. And my daddy was laughing with me. But they figured something out, obviously, because when I walked in the court, um, the the lady was like, Lotto? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I'm your lawyer. Like, your, your parents, because um, I never had no, like, criminal lawyer. I ain't had an um, entertainment lawyer. I ain't, I ain't been in no trouble. So they like, your parents, <laughs> whatever they said it up. The judge, when they got when they got to my name, the judge immediately was like, "Oh, you don't have no record." But mind you, I can't even explain myself. So like, while the judge talking, she's saying stuff like, "Oh, you don't have no record. Don't let this happen again." Da da da. I'm sitting over there mad in them, cause I'm like, again, it never even happened. The fuck, yeah, we guys, justice system did this to me, bitch. Anyway, so she like, yeah, you are gonna get a signature bond. It's like something like you never been in trouble before so you get like a like get out of jail free card type shit so i'm like oh bet girl, girl why when i get back to that holding cell they taking a long ass time to let me out i'm like hey baby y'all supposed to be letting me out i'm the judge that i'm free to go they talking about um oh uh <laughs> the the electricity so <laughs> the system is down we can't book anybody in or out. <laughs> I'm like, how long that's going to be? She's like, shouldn't be long, whatever. Girl, I spent the night again. Mind you, it's scary in there. I'm not even going to lie. I'm gangster. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't play no, I don't, I don't play with you hoes. But... Bruh, it's bitches getting bullied. Like, ho, get up. I want to sit right there. I'm looking like, I ain't finna be Captain save a today, honey. I don't condone bullying, but, bitch, I ain't finna get punched on. So, I'm like, damn. Um, this hoe is finna fucking... I, didn't, I watched this hoe get her uh, shoes stole. I'm not in a holding cell no more. Like, they they had me in this thing. Like, I mean, I guess it is a holding cell. If you live in Atlanta, you you been in Rice Street. It's like they don't have like a women's part in there. But they couldn't ship me to that other jail because technically I'm supposed to be out, but they can't let me out yet because the system is down. So I'm beyond the holding cell. So, but I'm in this other holding cell in the back where it's like all the real people who really supposed to be there that's going to court. Do that make sense? whatever if you know you know it was like no shade but it was like nasty it was like it's i'm sorry but it was like nasty like nasty people nasty i had to pee in front of other people hold my shit and remember i told y'all i didn't eat oh yeah baby i end up eating that bologna sandwich the fuck i'm starving but yeah i end up um getting out the next day so, in total, I spent, well, I, I'm going to say three days, but like two and a half days. And um, my mama came and got me. And first thing I get in the car, she like, yeah, everybody knows. I'm like, everybody knows. What? Looking at all these headlines, the blogs is like, Lotto arrested for stealing. Then somebody started this week as I'm like, I stole a bra. I got caught stealing a bra in the mall, and that's how I went to jail. Skirt, girl, fuck you. All my old ops and, like, bitches who didn't like me, whatever. Everybody just having a field day with this false-ass story, running with it, calling me a thief. Mind you, like, I'm supposed to be some type of, like, celebrity. I ain't have really much going on at the time, but I had a little something going on, like, enough to, like, we didn't know you were stealing. So it was, like, little talk of the town or whatever. 
and um yeah i never got my money back for my vacation i missed the vacation and i never got my money back for paying my lawyer and oh like ten thousand dollars mind you i'm like 19. girl i done told the whole story and forgot to tell y'all like how they got me and not the real thief so what happened was what had happened was when i got out we end up um sitting with the lawyer like the next day something like that and i'm like okay so how the fuck did all this happen whatever um and she basically tell us she had did some digging and she ended up talking to the man who put the warrant out for this girl's arrest so basically he tell my lawyer like um he was talking to this girl on facebook he first of all he said he don't know me and um he was talking to this girl on facebook she was a sex worker and they met um in atlanta somewhere like they got like a motel room whatever and he was like i'm gonna leave um do you want to come with me he had to go do something whatever and she like nah when buddy come back his louis luggage his rolex like a bunch of valuable things is gone and so is she duh so he called the police and he don't have her name he just got um you know this picture of her from her facebook and they do this thing called Bolo, um, APD. They send this picture out to like all the officers, I guess. And it, it mean be on the lookout. So um, long story short, one of the, one officer from Atlanta Police Department, I've yet to um, find out who this person is. But one of these motherfuckers told these people that Oh, I know who that is. That's um, Lotto from the rap game. Um, that's Alyssa Stevens. Because this girl light skin with lashes and a wig and tattoos. And I swear on everything I love, y'all. That's all it took for me to get arrested. I don't know if the girl ever end up going to jail. Or if Buddy end up getting his stuff back. I don't know. But I do know my lawyer was like he's willing to like clear your name like i showed him pictures of you and he was like nah that's not her i wish it was her <laughs> but it's not her and yeah that's how i went to jail and so like when y'all make jokes about it on the internet it's actually very dramatic and um i'm very aware that that video is hella cringe but um i was 19 and I had a lot to lose, and um, everybody was talking shit. Um, blogs was posting this shit without even, like, confirming their stories. Um, and, yeah, I never got any of my money back, so I just took that L and got my character destroyed on the Internet. <laughs> so, yes, I went in the studio the next day and made my first day out song. Bitch, let me do that. Let me rock out. Let me do that.